morning guys, hello. My name is Joe Webb. I'm a director of Balfour Beatty, for those of you who don't know me. Today, we're visiting Manchester Engineering Campus Development, known locally as MECD. The MECD project is one of the largest, most complex schemes currently been undertaken in the region. So today, we're gonna to meet some of the team who are actually delivering the scheme and focus on some of the key aspects of the project. So, let's get started and come with me. So if you come with me now, the first person we're going to meet is Mark Pearson, the project director for the job. You okay to speak, Mark? Yeah, Roger. Come on in. So, Mark, Mark Pearson, project director for the MECD project. Mark and his team responsible for delivering this complex project. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about it, Mark, all the key characteristics, etc.? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, welcome to MECD. So, 300 million pound new project for the University of Manchester, um, Manchester Engineering Campus Development. It's a, a new campus that replaces the old UMIST campus to the north and uh, brings all the engineering schools into one place. Four separate buildings, um, Oddfellows Odd Hall, Grade 2 listed, the main building, Met Hall, the big black one, Upper Brook Street building and York Street building. You know, contains all kinds of stuff, high tech laboratories and clean rooms and lecture theatres, teaching and learning space, office space. Um, very, very complex, very technical building. We were involved on uh, this project from a really early stage, from work stage two, um, right at the very beginning. So we've had a lot of uh, opportunity to influence the design and, and, and get things right. And we've played a, played a part all the way through. Okay, Mark, thanks very much. We've taken enough of your time. We'll go meet some of the rest of the guys. See you later. Ah, Andrea. So Andrea looks after social value in the Northwest and also responsible for delivering social value on this scheme. Andrea, wonderful board. Can you tell us what's going on here and what this all means? Yes, yeah, so we've got some images on here of the, of the guys that we've brought onto site. Um, at the minute we've got about 120 apprentices on the scheme. 120, wow. Yeah. And at least, I think about 115, either previously unemployed or long-term unemployed from the local area. Unemployed, long-term unemployed, which is a huge issue, obviously in any city, but in particular in GM. And we've delivered these work placements for this number on this site. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've worked with the city council through all the job centres and local employment groups that they they support. We've worked with um, the growth company to deliver pre-employment, you know, courses and that kind of thing. So that's how we've managed to do it. Yeah. Great, worthwhile, and absolutely great to see um, some evidence of uh, solving these issues. Thank you for your time. We're going to move on and meet some of the other guys. Thanks, Andrea. Let's keep going this way. Here we are on the roof terrace, and we're going to have a word with John Cowie, who heads design for this project. John, how are you? As you're responsible for all the design management of this scheme, I want you to talk through some of the challenges and what you think about this big black thing. <laughs> Well, this is a good place to start up on the roof terrace. You get the full view of the 200 metre long facade. Designed by Meccano, technical design delivered by BDP, subcontract um, by Cipral. So Cipral completed the design and installation. All of the facades based around the 10.8 metre structural grid. So you'll see the large fin boxes are 5.4 metres centre to centre. And then you'll see on the lower floors you end up with an 1800 panel which goes down to a 900 panel and then right up at the top you end up with a 450 so it's all based around a 900 mil module now the whole job's based on that you'll see more of that when we go inside later on but quite striking attracts the eye wow that's great john anyway we've got a dash because we've got to go and catch up with some of the rest of the guys to look at some of the other aspects so thanks for that no worries i'll see you soon And we, here's one of the main guys, Andy Kinder. Andy's the construction director on this scheme, and Andy makes it all happen. This is the uh, corrosion lab. On the project, we've got 97 fume cupboards. So we're now doing final install of nine fume cupboards that go into this laboratory. So Andy, this is a fairly complex lab then? Yep, one of the cleanest conditions that we've got on here. Come on and I'll show you some more spaces like this. Okay, let's go. You really get 
the impact now of the size of this building. There's the width and there's the length all the way down there. This is Atrium 4, the most advanced one. Quite um, a space, quite a space. Yeah, again, a lot of natural light coming down into the, uh, into the space from the roof light up on uh, level eight. And you said there's one, this is one of four. Four, most advanced, one of four. We'll take you into the anechoic chamber, which is through this door here, Joe. That sounds complicated, what is it? This is all for the university to do sound research. So these are foam cones that are all the way around on the floor, the doors and the walls, and these totally absorb sound. So this is one of the world's quietest places. So, this is the auditorium. 600 seater auditorium, acoustic panels in. Projectors are all in and just waiting to put the seats in. Quite an impressive space, yeah? We're almost back to where we started, Andy. Thanks for showing us around. It was really good and good with luck with the remaining um, period to finish. Thank you. Well, we're in the streets. Come on, follow me back and I'll get you back to the office, Joe. Great. So guys, that's the end of our uh, virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful and hopefully we'll be welcoming you down to site in person in the coming months. Thanks very much for your time.